As we get close to wrapping things up here, I wanted to bring up some odds and ends, some final thoughts, and a couple of things I think is important to keep in mind for the overall process, including the fact that uh, Sendcaster also automatically creates a, a folder, a backup folder in your Google Drive, which is very convenient because we can go back to where our recordings are at any given time. They are automatically saved, which is great. Your guest and your file will both be here under the folder in which you recorded. But I think it's very important to try your best to stay organized by using Google Drive as well as um, creating a folder in your finder where all your files can stay safe and sound. Now, when you go on Shared With Me, you'll see NEIU Library Podcast. And this is where you're going to find all of your recordings backed up, and you can certainly upload your recordings as well. Here's where you're going to find the music, including the ones that we've used right here at the top. This is a transition. This is the outro, and this is the intro. Of course, all the episodes are backed up here as well. This is the one that I did. And as you can see, I tried to rename my files accordingly. There was an unedited raw version that I made. And we also had recorded a pre-recorded introduction and a pre-recorded outro and the very final mp3 version which we uploaded to Libsyn. So this is where you will find a lot of helpful backup files. And as I mentioned, it's a good idea to rename all the files in a way that makes sense to you. So when you're putting them all together in GarageBand, everything, you know what everything is, you know specifically what's what. But you can also, like any other organizational method on a computer, is create a new folder and rename it accordingly. N-E-I-U podcast and just put them all right into your folder like so and then they're all organized according to file name there's the music intro music outro music transition the outro pre-recorded outro uh, pre-recorded intro this was the backup file that uh, I used using audio hijack and these were the files available to me via Zen Zencaster so these are all important steps, I think, that will help guide you along in the podcast recording editing process. And I really hope that uh, these tutorials were helpful for you and that you uh, have a very fulfilling experience recording podcasts and putting them out into the world to share with your listeners. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye bye.